Welcome back, Dero Doers. In this video, we'll explore customer and vendor payments, as well as the outstanding payments accounts. In Odoo, we have multiple statuses to help keep track of our payments. First, an invoice or bill is unpaid. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Next, if part of the invoice has been paid, but it isn't fully paid, the status will be partially paid. Once the full payment has been registered, the status is in payment. And finally, once the payment is reconciled with a bank transaction, the status is finally paid. The outstanding payments and outstanding receipts accounts are used as temporary holding accounts for the time between when a payment is made or received and when it's reconciled with a bank transaction. So when the payment is registered in Odoo, it hits the outstanding account, which is then balanced once the payment and the bank transaction are reconciled. Let's take a look at some payments in our Bloom database. First, we'll go into our accounting app and we'll look at our invoices. If we want to register full payments for multiple bills or invoices at once, we can select them and then click register payment. Then we have the option to group payments. So we'll have only one payment per partner instead of one payment per bill. If instead we want to register payments one at a time instead of in mass, then we have two options. First, we can do it directly from the invoice or bill. So if we open an invoice here, we can click on the register payment button. We can edit any of this information that we need to. And the benefit of this method is that this payment is automatically reconciled with this bill. So we can see this payment banner telling us that the status is in payment. And down here on our little information icon, we can actually see the link to the payment that we just registered and we have the ability to unreconcile the two if we registered the payment from the wrong invoice or bill. It's important to note that this reconciliation is just between the payment and the invoice or bill. And it's different from the bank reconciliation where we make sure all of our bank transactions are accounted for. The second option is to register a payment manually through the customer's or vendor's menu, depending on if it's an incoming or an outgoing payment that we want to register. When we do this, we can click on Payments, New, and we just need to set a payment uh, amount and a partner. So for the partner, we'll say Acres Lawn Care, and for the payment amount, we'll say 302 euros and 50 cents. So we'll go ahead and confirm this. And now we'll go back to our invoices. And if we look at an invoice for this partner, we can see we have a banner telling us that we have outstanding debits that we can allocate to mark this bill as paid. And at the bottom, it even gives us a little list here of any outstanding debits for this vendor, where we can select which one we want to allocate to this bill. Again, we have the information icon to get information on the payments journal entry, uh, like the date, the memo, the journal, etc. And for more information, we can go directly to the payment itself by clicking view. And here on the payment, we have smart button connecting us to that bill or invoice. And uh, we also have one taking us to the journal entry for the payment, which we'll click on. And from there, we have yet another smart button to the reconciled items, where we can see the two items that both hit the account payable. Again, remember that this reconciliation is just the connection between the bill and the registered payment. Bank reconciliation is a separate process where we match bank transactions with these payments. And what if I don't want to reconcile these payments with my bank transactions? Can I bypass that? So I'd always recommend reconciling your bank transactions for full transparency, but there may be some cases, like on a cash journal, for example, where you might not record transactions and you might want to skip the reconciliation process. In that case, what we can do is go to the journal. We'll open our cash journal here. And in the incoming payments tab, 
we will unhide the outstanding receipts account field. And we're going to set the cash account, which is the main account of the journal itself, as the outstanding receipts account. If we left it blank, it would instead use the default account from the settings. But since we specify this account, it will use this instead. And we'll do the same in the outgoing payments tab. We'll unhide the outstanding payments receipt or account and put the cash account there. Now we can go into one of our unpaid invoices. And when we register a payment from our cash journal, we'll see that it skips the in payment status and goes straight to paid. And then if we want to see the journal items of that payment, we can go view, journal entry, and here we can see it's going to hit the cash account directly instead of going to the outstanding receipts account. So you won't need to reconcile this payment. That's all for this video. Be sure to check out our documentation and other videos for more information. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.